So we're here today to teach you how to use calendar math in a daily routine. Calendar math is great because you can really build up children's number sense. You're working with numbers on a daily basis. You can use skip counting with this, talk about patterns, and a whole variety of, of standards that we're going to be covering by using the calendar map. Yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So you think it's going to be blue today? Yeah. yeah. One, five, Good. So we're counting by fives. Good job. So let's go ahead and count by fives. Five, five ten, ten, fifteen, fifteen twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So we just added a tally for being a nice sunny day. And we also are graphing it. So we're finding the sunny column. And we added, we filled up another, another space showing that it was a sunny day. So let's look at this graph for a moment. Have we had any super cloudy days this month? No. Have we had any kind? And you said quarters. So I have a quarter. That's 25. So I can't use another quarter. What do I need to use? How do I get from 25 over to 30? What do you think? Pennies. I could use pennies, huh? So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. How many pennies did I use? By doing all of these things, not only are the children learning the calendar, but they are developing great number sense. And it's all through, through questioning and through practice as well. Asking those questions. What number is a two and a three put together? What number is a one and a nine put together? Show me the 15. By doing this, we're working on number sense, which they desperately need for the upper grades. This is the building block of your children's math education.